quantization. What it is, it's the process of taking input signals that are played in a certain um, time window definition. Really what that means is I've specified the tempo and the time signature that is associated with you know, each of the measures that's going to be played. And what it does is it will take what I've played and it will put it in to the correct time window definition or the correct tempo and time signature definition. So if I record something and let's say I don't stop recording at the exact time that the downbeat of the last measure takes place, that's okay. Um, because what quantization will do is it will try and take what I've played and in that case it will kind of squeeze together that last group of input signals so that it fits within the window um, that I previously defined as far as tempo and time signature goes. There's a lot of great benefits to quantization. One of those is obviously you can be a little bit imperfect. You don't have to do everything exactly on point. Some of the cons are it can create kind of a maybe a little bit of a, a doctored sound. Um, it removes some of the human imperfections, I guess, that we introduce when we play. But again, the, for the purpose of you playing into a looper is just to jam with and to have fun. It's very, very nice because you don't have to get hung up on being exactly precise with everything that you play. Hopefully this helps you understand a little bit, demystifies it. Um, thanks for watching. This is Reads Reviews, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.